Look at this. This is one of my shoes and this is its real shoelace and somehow it's like growing together or like it's some kind of biological organism and it's like covered in human hair. Ugh. I want shoelaces that I can wear with pride on my all-American feet. I want the best shoelaces. To find the best shoelaces, I met with Shane Hobel, a survivalist and animal tracker. Shane once literally helped a town track down some runaway panthers. Everybody needs a hobby. Right? I exactly. can, I can and my only hobby support you. is being the best. That's, I can only, well, good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing about guys like Shane. They want to make sure that everything they're carrying is like top-notch survival grade, gonna get me out of this burning canyon kind of thing, right? So he's fanatical about testing his gear. So I brought gear of my own. I have harvested this cornucopia of shoelaces. Which is the best? Shane and I decided to test three different kinds of shoelaces, leather, cotton, and nylon. And we used a friction test that Shane devised with some old log lying around. And we also found our friend Paul, who was just hanging out in the woods, and we asked him to help us with our test. And the good thing about Paul is he doesn't look very sketchy at, at all. all. <laughs> yeah. First, we tested the leather shoelaces. I'm going to start to pull, and it. you're going to pull. Right. So uh, clearly, the Are you kidding me? I mean, if you're wearing leather shoelaces, all I have to say is may God have mercy on your shoes. This shoelace is weak. Then we tested a neon green cotton shoelace and a nylon shoelace. So let's just start sawing wood here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So we're getting some good work. Jeez. It smells like fire. Yeah, well. The cotton and nylon laces lasted longer than the leather lace, and the nylon came out on top by about like half a second. So I knew that a guy like Shane's not gonna be walking around with these cheapo, falling apart store-bought shoelaces, so I asked him, Shane, what type of shoelaces are you using? These are parachute cord, which another name is 550 or 550 cord. Please tell me the 550 refers to what I think it refers to. It refers to the exact tensile strength that 550 is pounds Correct. this stuff can hold? That's why it's used for parachutes. Correct. This could go in a parachute. Yes, this is Sorry for screaming right in your face, <laughs> sorry. And then it was time to see how the paracord stacked up with my shoelaces that I brought into the woods. One, two, three. The Don't outside stop. sleeve has just failed. Yep. Don't stop. And now we're getting individuals. Wow. Shane's paracord lasted 60% longer than my cotton and nylon shoelaces. First round knockout. Paracord is crushing all other shoelaces.